The block effect on shields is great for survivability, though it comes at a high cost to your damage. But what if you could have both block chance and competitive or even more damage than you normally would with a two-hander or dual wielding? We can achieve this by making use of the shield's damage stat. Rather than having a flat damage number like a focus would, it increases your main hand damage by 80% instead. Knowing this, we can bridge the damage gap between shields and weapons by having very high damage on that main hand weapon. To do this, we can kill certain rare spawns in the world that will always drop the same weapon. These special items have a trade-off. They come with 3 stats instead of 4, but in return they can roll much higher item level than what is possible for normal gear. The sell value on these items is also extremely low, which means we can re-roll their stats as much as we like. After killing this elite about 12 times, I found an 839 wand, which when upgraded has a massive 1476 DPS. This means the 80% weapon damage bonus of the shield is contributing much more than usual. With my current two-hander, I have 9508 damage, and with the wand and shield it only drops to 9423. If I equip a similar item level one-hander to my current scythe, my attack power drops all the way down to 7791. This goes to show just how well the rare spawn weapons work with the shield damage bonus. For the build I'm currently working on, when the aspect finally drops I'll be using this wand or perhaps an even higher item level one with a shield. There are currently three one hand weapons that drop from rare spawns that we can use with a shield. Wand of Abe Mari from a rare spawn here, Dark Blade from one here, and Broodmother's Stinger over here. They seem to respawn between 1 and 15 minutes, so you can sit there and farm it if you like, or just swing past that spot every time you finish a dungeon, go to a side quest, or whatever else. Thanks so much for watching, be sure to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll catch you in the next one.